Well, I was wanting to visit with you a little bit tonight about uh, how you got your illustrious art career started. I realize that uh, it was after World War II, as you come back from the Navy, that your uh, wife encouraged you to uh, enter into the art field. Uh, could yeah. you tell us that story? Yeah, well, when I came back, of course, I'd been over there 17 months, and I came back, I was kind of skin and bones and shaken up, didn't know what to do, and my wife, my young wife, grabbed me by the shoulders and she shook me and said, look, you have four years of schooling coming. Go to that art institute out there, Kansas City Art Institute, the same one Walt Disney went to, and I'll go to work at Sears. I didn't even take art in high school. So I entered into this Kansas City Art Institute, and I'm getting life drawing, object drawing, interior design, watercolor, oil, this kind of thing. And I got into that, and it just, boy, it was my forte. Stuck with it for four years, tops in my class. And after four years, then I had a job in, in uh, Hollywood as an illustrator, uh, <laughs> illustrating uh, for designers in celebrity homes, showing their furniture and all this kind of thing. So, so it made a great, great career. And we came out on a vacation to Colorado with two children and started looking around and said, boy, this would be a nice place to live. And so I heard about Howard Morton Galleries on Spur Boulevard and went out there and they said, well, when can you start? And so I came back and told my family, look around, this is your new home, we're moving to Denver. <laughs> oh, nice. I understand that you uh, had some very interesting uh, clients uh, through Howard Lorton's that also furthered your art career. Could you tell us a little bit oh, about some oh of them? Oh, yeah. I had to, of course, I did a lot of work for the Betchers, the Coors, the Gates family. Uh, I sort of had the... Uh, Celebrity Denver Society clientele, uh, and it, uh, it made a real interesting uh, career in working with Howard Lorton Galleries and uh, furnishing homes. And of course, then I've do a, continued to do paintings, and uh, Lorton's I had them in their gallery, and they would sell them. And, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it uh, just made a great, a great life. Was it through Howard Lorton's that you had met Audrey Meadows and have her become one of your oh, collectors? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, she came in uh, with her French poodle one day and her maid and uh, wanted to get some, uh, get a design. She was married to Robert Six, who was president of Continental Airlines then. And uh, so they, I worked on their house in Hollywood and I did worked on the, their apartment in, on Park Avenue in New York, and here I am in the living room at their apartment on Park Avenue, and there's Jane Meadows, Audrey Meadows, uh, Steve Allen, <laughs> Robert Six, uh, uh, company, uh, Continental Airlines secretary, and myself, and, and uh, Robert, it was Robert Six's apartment, and he was scolding Steve Allen. He says, you gotta get this GD piano out of here. It's too large for the living room. <laughs> and I'm sitting around and listening to all this stuff. <laughs> but it's just one of the many combinations I had. Uh, a, a lot of the Denver Society mm -hmm. clientele, Kerr's and Gates family. And well, it's through, was it through that meeting that uh, you uh, were commissioned to do uh, the paintings for the presidential, or what do they call it, President's Club of the Continental Airlines? And oh, yeah, I, I, did, uh, I did all their uh, club rooms, or waiting rooms. Uh, Throughout the country, and I traveled. I traveled all over the world with uh, the Sixes, and uh, it made an interesting combination. I did their ranch in Uray, uh, and uh, up in the hills. I, mean, I could meet them up there that morning, and uh, as I drove up the road, I passed this jeep, and, and I got when I got there. Audrey said, "Did you you miss John? John Wayne?" Oh, <laughs> and he was. Billy the True Grit at oh. that time. So here I'm mixing in with these people. It is, it's interesting, but I had a lot of interesting clientele. But, uh, I did a lot of the Denver Society. Right. Well, it was through Howard Lorton's also that uh, you uh, met uh, Choke Phillips. Could you tell us that oh, story? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, during the stock show time, uh, you know, the uh, people would come in from the ranches and 
to attend a stock show and they would want to go to Howard Martin's to for find furniture and that was one of their key stop offs and so I had a couple come in, an old cowboy, and they're wandering through the Martins and and uh, as they were leaving he said, we, we're working on a new house on our ranch and uh, we we're wondering if we get some help, someone to work on the thing, to help them with the draperies and to uh, furnish their house. And so I get the detail, we go, go to Watchers, New Mexico and turn over, over the Moore River and uh, the ranch on the hill, and I still didn't get the combination of, of the Phillips company. So I, I told them I'll stop by next week because I'm going to California to see my parents. And, and so I cross to turn off at Watchers and go across the Moore River, wind back up 10 miles, and I see this large ranch house on the hill, and then I see these Phillips pumps. I thought, oh, Phillips Petroleum. And uh, so then I did their ranch house, and later I did the Philmont Boy Scout Ranch in uh, Watchers, New Mexico. For them. But just one thing would lead into the other, just interesting combination. Now the Philmont Ranch, is that where a number of uh, Choke Phillips' paintings that he bought through, from you through the years are now, or you uh, know what that? No, no they aren't. Uh, I don't know where the, those paintings are, but uh, they had I see. Okay. Well, thanks a lot for visiting with us, Hal. Yeah, uh, Ken, my always interesting. My to pleasure. Hear it's more cool. about your your very illustrious art career. Here. It's uh, just interesting the different contexts and the, the travels and the, those things, and you just uh, you treat everyone the same, no matter what their background is. You do the job you're asked to do, and uh, it just is very enjoyable. Well, we sure appreciate having your work here and representing you in the Art of Life Gallery. Thank you, Ken. Thank my, you so my pleasure.